Have you ever looked up at the clouds and seen faces or animals? Or maybe you've spotted shapes in the stars and wondered why your mind fills in the blanks. This isn't just a quirky human trait, it's a deep-rooted mechanism in our brains. But why do we do this? Why does our brain create meaning out of chaos, patterns from randomness? Our ability to detect patterns is one of humanity's greatest strengths. It's why we've survived as a species, spotting predators in the bushes, finding edible plants in the wild, or navigating the seasons. But here's the catch. Sometimes our brain overdoes it. It sees connections and patterns where none exist. Psychologists even have a term for this, apophenia, the tendency to perceive meaningful patterns in random data. But what if this quirk isn't just a survival instinct? What if it's also the reason behind some of our biggest misconceptions, superstitions, and even conspiracy theories? Let's dive deeper. Imagine this, you're walking in the forest and you hear rustling in the bushes. Is it the wind or is it a tiger? Your brain, tuned for survival, assumes it's the tiger because the cost of being wrong, getting eaten, is far greater than overreacting to the wind. This instinct to find patterns is wired into our neural architecture. At the heart of this is the brain's predictive power. Our brain constantly takes in sensory information, sights, sounds, smells, and compares it to past experiences to make predictions. This predictive engine operates in the cortex, the brain's outer layer, where neurons fire in intricate networks to connect dots. But sometimes, the brain is too good at connecting dots. This is why we might see a man's face on the surface of the moon or hear hidden messages in a song played backward. These false patterns emerge because our brain would rather be wrong than miss something important. One of the most fascinating examples of this is pareidolia, our tendency to see faces in inanimate objects. Think of the famous face on Mars captured by NASA's Viking orbiter in 1976. For years, people believed it was evidence of extraterrestrial life. But when higher resolution images were taken, the face turned out to be just shadows on a rock. So, why faces? Well, the brain is particularly sensitive to detecting faces because recognizing others is crucial for social survival. In fact, there's an entire area of the brain dedicated to this, the fusiform face area. It's so finely tuned that it often fires even when the face is just a random pattern. Here's where things get even more intriguing. Dopamine, the brain's reward chemical, plays a major role in pattern recognition. Studies show that people with higher dopamine levels are more likely to see patterns in randomness. This might explain why some people are more prone to superstitions or even believing in conspiracy theories. Their brains are rewarding them for finding connections, whether those connections are real or not. Take gambling, for example. Slot machines are designed to exploit our brain's pattern-seeking tendencies. A sequence of near misses tricks the brain into thinking, I'm so close to winning. This false pattern keeps players hooked, chasing a reward that's entirely random. But our tendency to see patterns isn't just about harmless quirks, like seeing faces in clouds or getting hooked on slot machines. It has profound implications. For instance, consider conspiracy theories. During uncertain times, like a pandemic, our brains crave certainty. Faced with randomness or chaos, we latch onto explanations, even if they're based on false patterns. This is why misinformation spreads so easily. Once our brain spots a pattern, whether it's true or not, it's incredibly hard to let go of it. The pattern becomes part of our reality, shaping how we interpret the world. On the one hand, our pattern recognition abilities have driven some of humanity's greatest achievements discovering electricity, decoding DNA, and exploring the cosmos. On the other hand, this same ability has led to belief in things like astrology, ghosts, and urban legends. 
One famous example is the hot hand fallacy in basketball. Fans and even players often believe that if someone has made several shots in a row, they're on fire and more likely to score again. But statistical analyses reveal that this streak is often just random variation. Our brains, however, can't help but see a pattern. So, what can we learn from this? Recognizing that our brains are pattern-creating machines can help us become more aware of our own biases. When we catch ourselves seeing meaning where there may be none, we can pause and ask, is this real? Or am I connecting dots that don't exist? This isn't about shutting down our creative or intuitive sides far from it. Instead, it's about balancing curiosity with critical thinking allowing us to embrace the beauty of randomness while staying grounded in reality. The next time you see a face in the clouds or hear whispers in the static, remember, it's not just your imagination. It's your brain doing what it's wired to do, turning randomness into meaning, chaos into order. And in that process lies the story of what makes us human.